Howdy. If you like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, some people say Dr. Jekyll. I don't know about those people, I don't trust them. Come with me. Have a look at this. Got a ruin of a house here to show you. Skerivore, I think it's called. It might be pronounced that. I don't know. It's here. It's a house. The ruin of a house. Who lived here? I'll tell you who lived here. Robert Louis Stevenson, the man who wrote Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Come on, let's go in his house. Watch your feet. Here we go. The ruins of his house. This was actually the house that Robbie Lu Robert Louis Stevenson wrote. Let's see, kidnapped and, of course, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Somewhere in these very rooms. He probably sat right there, little desk, writing it away. Dr. Jekyll, I presume. Uh, here we are. The ruins of his house. I love that book. I love that story. Um, Spencer Tracy, that's a good version of the film. Didn't like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen too much, that was a bit weird. Um, the comic's quite good. But here we are, the ruin of this house. There's a little plaque over here we can show you if you want to have a look at it. It's kind of interesting. It was called Scarivore, as we said. It was named after a lighthouse built by the, the Stevenson family. It says it all over here, I'm not that clever. I read it off this little plaque. Come and have a look, we'll show you. That is a model of the actual lighthouse that the house was named after. See, here it is. Not real size, not actual size, but this is it. Little lighthouse, climbing up the lighthouse. Then here we go, a little plaque here that tells you everything. Have a look at that, you can read, I won't read it to you, that'll be patronising. There you go though, pretty interesting. Just think of all the stories, all the tales of madness and craziness that he wrote in this, build, in this, this building, what remains of it. The building was actually bombed out in the war, so that's why it's not here anymore, but the remains are here. The kind of essence of uh, Mr Hyde, you can feel the madness in the air. I want to drink down some alcohol and go crazy, rampage off into the forest. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, I thought we'd show you it. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed it. That's it for today.